strong. What is up, everybody? What's up, guys? How we doing? Back for another part of the trap bowl series of this podcast. So yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited too, man. We uh, we're gonna get the last part of the trip. So we uh, finished things off. Uh, we went from um, Munich, which we were talking about like a little bit ago, and then now we headed to uh, Switzerland. Or we could start with Liechtenstein. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the the small little the little country. Okay. Yeah. What were your thoughts of that country? Liechtenstein is a very very small country that not a lot of people know. I don't know your geology. Your geology is really good, but um, Liechtenstein is very close to Germany and Switzerland, as you can see if you put a map. Yeah, I can put a map right there. Yeah. Somewhere in the map. All right, that uh, sounds but good. But yeah, Liechtenstein was very cute as well because it's a very small town. Well, it looks like a, a town, but um, you get to walk around a little bit and watch like the uh, like a lot of stuff like stores souvenir stores and yeah many different things and take a lot of photos as well yeah it was a cool place um i actually didn't know we were going to an extra country i thought it was four mm-hmm. and then they kind of surprised me and they're like oh my gosh we don't know and i was like oh shoot yeah. so that was kind of a cool one uh, it was an interesting town um, we were there for what about a few hours a few hours so it was kind of cool we stopped through kind of stopped um Explored a little bit, and then we headed to Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, it was. Where did he even begin? Yeah, so we went straight to the city, right? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even go to the well because our so basically the hotels were like up in the mountain. So basically we had the city life, we had kind of the city tour, and then we had to drive quite a long way up into like the mountains to actually get to the ski resort that we were staying at. Yeah, that's true. So like the city was really cool. Mm-hmm. Big Switzerland thing is the chocolate. The chocolate. Um, I know one of the girls on the trip. She showed me a TikTok of the Switzer or the, of a chocolate factory. Yeah, I don't know if you saw or heard about that. So they were talking about they're like, oh yeah, like we should go there. And I was like, yeah, like I'm down. But I was like, I don't know if we have time. But I mean, I don't know where it was. Oh, they're doing that. Yeah, because she she showed me the TikTok and I was like, oh, that'd be like really cool to go there. Mm-hmm. But then she's like. But we're like, well, I don't know if we have time. Yeah. Which we didn't. Yeah, we did. And, it, and honestly, I don't think it was where we were at. Probably farther. It was. I think it was like in Geneva. Oh. Yeah, which was like pretty, I think it was a couple hours away. Yeah. That's my guess. But we did a chocolate. We got a lot of chocolate yeah, in, don't worry. Guys. I got a lot of chocolate. Yeah, we did. I spent a lot of money on chocolate. <laughs> oh, and then also the conversion rate for the Swiss franc. So we like get... We get in the city, we explore, which we kind of go into. We get to our hotel, we explore. And I went to the bank, and I got 100 Swiss franc, which was 116 US dollars. Which I thought was better than, remember when we were at the hotel? Yeah. I got 250 euros, and it was 307 American. That's a lot. It was a lot. So I, so I spent $57 on conversion rate and fees. But whatever. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. But like, I was like, that's kind of expensive. Yeah. Like, fees are... Please. Yeah. Can't do it. And you don't even know. Well, the thing about it is, you don't even know if it's like what you're paying for, because it's they're just like, yeah, is this okay? And you're like, yeah. You don't know what the conversion rate is. You don't know what the fees are. They just lump it all together and say, this is what you're gonna pay, and do you want it? Yeah. And and me, you kind of have no choice, because. Yeah, no choice. <laughs> right. But on a side note, I want to get um, this is going in not banking, but. But just, I want to get a separate bank account at like a, one of the bigger banks to be able to get euros next time I go to Europe because my bank does not do it. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I was pretty disappointed. I went to my bank and I was like, hey, um, I have a bank with a smaller bank. And they're like, hey, like we don't do that. And I'm like, what the heck? That's weird. So I think I'm going to do like a different checking account with a different debit card to then be able to get the money before mm-hmm. I go because then the conversion is better and there's no not as many fees if you're actually with yeah. your bank. So I think I'm going to do that. And also, I was also thinking that, like, let's say I get in a situation where my debit card or my two cards don't work, then I have a separate bank that has money in it just in case mm-hmm. anything hits the fan. Yeah, that's smart. Kind of like a backup. Yeah, I think Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm going to do that in the next couple months before our next trip. Mm-hmm. 
because I don't want to be stuck somewhere and like my bank's like, oh, you know, your car got stolen or oh, you're locked. So then I'm like, okay, well, then I need to go to my other card that's at a different bank that has nothing to do with each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of thought through that and I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart idea. Anyways, back away from banking, back to the trip. So that's just a side note, but that's a good rule of thumb, guys. If you bank with a smaller bank, they might not do the conversion, but if you bank with one of the bigger banks, they will do foreign currency, foreign currency exchange. Yep. In Switzerland, um, let's see. We went to the the watch store in Switzerland. Dude, um, yeah, Paddock. Paddock. Paddock Philippe. So that was like my dream. Well, we went to like two different watch stores. Oh yeah, yeah, we did, we did. We went to the one on the first level, which was really cool. Um, it had all the different types of brands of watches, which was sick. But I wanted to go to this Paddock official dealer, which was a big deal for me because that's like a big hub for them. Is is uh, Switzerland, and we found it, and we went. It was on the second level. I, I, yeah, go for it. It was, it was fun to see all these expensive watches and jewelry and jewelry as well. But man, a lot of people spend a lot of money on watches. And remember, the lady was super sweet to us. Yes. And I told her, I was like, I'm coming in here someday to buy a couple of these watches. And she's like, yeah, like, I... You know, it's the best feeling when they're like, yeah, you, like, you can do it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the best feeling ever. Because, like, they believe in you. And you believe in you. And you can do it. I'm going to yeah. do it. Do it. Just do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get matching <laughs> ones. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, like, that was a really cool experience. Um, I've always wanted to go to Paddock. In Gen- we weren't in Geneva, but we were in... Um, Lucerne. Lucerne, Switzerland, Lucerne. and it also had a Paddock Philippe store, and that was uh, my dreams come true. Yeah. And remember, we went to the store, and everything was sold out. That's right. Everything was sold already. So we went to like these watches, and they're all sold, and I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> it's so cool. So. Yeah. What, what else did we get? Um, we were walking, yeah, remember we were walking around downtown, like in our area? Yeah. Area where the hotel was. Um, we saw this Mexican restaurant out of nowhere. Yeah, which was kind Literally of interesting. Next door, we got a, a marketplace literally in front of us, and then the train station, and then a little bit further was a cinema, but we don't know if they were open. Are you talking about in front of a hotel? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think. Yes! Okay, I remember. Cinema. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, the cinema was there. Yep. And then we just walked around like around the houses it was so pretty it was cold it was cold which was nice it was, <laughs> yeah. it was, it was like what 50s yeah right it was 50s. beautiful i was like put my little jacket on like <laughs> and then remember from the hotel we saw that other purple hotel it mm-hmm. was all lit up that was like the fancy one even though ours was really nice yeah i liked it i didn't like that there wasn't an elevator but besides that oh yeah that was a tough one we had a, like yeah. we were on the top floor too it was like five floors, but it was beautiful. It was a and b kind of deal. And then, oh, the water. The water. The water was ins- It was so, like, I just like the sound of, like, the little lakes and, like, rivers that were there. And they, like, we, we walked around the lake. We got to see the rivers. And it was just such, like, a calming, peaceful vibe. And then there was one night where I went kind of by myself. And I just, like, walked around Switzerland, like, by myself. I ran by myself. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, this time... The, the time we were before the dinner. This is before the dinner, actually. Yeah, yeah the yeah. last dinner? The last yeah, dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I did three miles. Wow. And then did the same loop. Uh-huh. And it was, like, so nice running um, through this, this hill, up some houses, and then going down, and then, boom. Peaceful. Three miles. Yeah, and it was just peaceful, the air is very clear. And we it was kind of weird, so like we asked about the water situation, because in each country it's like different re- regulations and protocols. And in Switzerland, he, our tour guide looked at, us, uh, looked at us and said, go wild. It was so cool, like that was, it was such good. So we're all, all three of us are like standing in the bathroom trying to get water out of the sink, it was hilarious. It was funny. We each had a little fancy cup. Yeah, we did. Um. We also got a shot glass yeah. from our tour director. Shout out to him. Love you, Marco. Uh, uncle. Uncle Marco. Uncle ha- Marco. Happy days. Happy days. That's what he would always say. I love that man. He's a, he's a great dude. Great dude. Yes. And what else we got to say? I just enjoyed Switzerland. Um, we, went, we had really good food. 
Um, the, the air was beautiful, the mountains, the views, the water, the calmness, the peacefulness, the stand, a lot of ski stuff, big ski place. Um, we didn't, oh, oh, and then we went up to the Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps. Yeah, so we did a, that was a fun ride. Going up the gondola and then going down the gondola. Well, going up was like chill, going down was scary. <laughs> did you go? Well, remember. When we were going down? Yeah, that was scary. Oh, and also, Never. before we went on the gondola ride, there's a huge line, and um, our tour director was counting how many people, and this dude, when I was walking straight, this dude cutted me, out, and he wasn't part of a, our group. I just wanted to punch this kid. Well, this guy, this man, actually. He, we, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Maybe you were, we probably weren't together at that no, point. No, no. You were probably in the back. With me. With, I was probably with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, other, yeah. But yeah, he made me mad, so I really? kind of bumped into him. And he just cut you? Yeah, he cut me. Because oh, he so thought sad. that he could go in, but we were allowed to go first and then the rest of the people. Oh, yeah. What, do you feel like we kind of got like bougie treatment? Because some of the times they were like, okay, you have people, like, let's go. Mm. Just there. Just there, just yeah. Because remember, and I was kind of nervous we're not super nervous, but like basically we had to go all the way because we went all the way up to the Swiss Alps. We chilled up there for like an hour or two. It was really cool, beautiful views. Then you had to get down. So you go up by like this train yeah, thing, train. tram. I don't know what you call it. It was really cool, full of people. Mm-hmm. And then when we came down. We were literally like in this like glass box with like a hundred people. It, that's what it's called? I think it's called gondola too. So it's a gondola and then it, there was like a hundred people in that in that place. And we're all like, it, right? Squished. We're all squished. And we thought it was just going to be us. Mm-hmm. But they like... But they told us to squish. Yeah. And it was crazy. An mm-hmm. experience. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was, I was a little, I was, I was happy. I was nervous. The views were awesome. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was, so we went that back down we went back to our hotel. Um, the city was awesome. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate was really good. We went to several Swiss chocolate stores. It's everything you can imagine plus more. Mm-hmm. Brought a lot home. Shared with the fam, um, friends. Yeah, I was. I ate a lot of chocolate. I ate a lot of chocolate. It was good. Shared it too, and voila. Yeah, so chocolate was really good. I still have chocolate left. Oh, we ate all ours. You're done. Oh, dude, yeah. Well, because we had family coming, sure. so like I, I gave them some. And I gave my other friend some, then my dad and my stepmom took some, and then I ate some, and then gone. I still have my big old um, milk chocolate bar left. Oh. Remember that red one that I got? No. The big one? I don't know. No. Did you get it at a different store? Yeah. Remember this, the, the bougie that, chocolate store we went the to? The one that they gave us the, the pin? Remember? The pin. The oh, the free pin? The free pin. Oh, yeah, yeah that's the door. Oh, and then we got the, okay, the engravings and stuff. So, guys, like, we did, like, an engraving thing. I got one of these, like, Swiss Army knives, and I ended up engraving it for my dad. It's pretty cool. We liked it. Yeah. Because it was Father's Day, mm-hmm. and then my dad's birthday um, is the same time, so. Not the same that's day, but, day. yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. I got the souvenir. That's souvenir. So, I got, like, on my, on my keychain... I got like this little souvenir that's basically says Switzerland, and it goes in my keychain. I love it. I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. I still have my collections. Yeah, well, and the, and my as you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys know, but like my favorite color is red. So like it's red, black, and silver, and it matches my keys, oh, like perfectly. Because awesome. because my key, my car key is black, red, and silver, mm-hmm. and then the keychain for that's so a Switzerland is black, red, and silver, and then my home key is silver. So it like matches yeah. perfectly. It's kind of mm-hmm. scary. It's so like that worked out really nicely. I love that thing. Um, got souvenirs for family, friends. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of souvenirs. I did too. Yeah, and postcards. Postcards from the castle. Of the castle. Co- oh, well, that castle. The castle was sick. So we did that. Um, this is another castle, by the way. Not Norwegian castle. It's another castle. Yeah. So we, went to, we went to a lot of castles. <laughs> we did. Yeah. The architecture, just overall on the trip, was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the last day we flew home, we, we flew out of... Um, 
Feels Zurich. Like Zurich. Which I, so, which I thought was cool. Yeah. It took us an hour to get to Zurich, though. Yeah, so it was kind of far. Because we were in, in a small town. In the mountains. In the mountains. And then we took a taxi. And it was a Mercedes. A Mercedes. Kind of like Sprinter van type deal. Mm-hmm. The thing was sick. And he took us from the hotel to Zurich. And International Airport. And then Zurich to Philly, Philly to... Back here. Back here. Back so, here. We got here. Oh. Plane time. Plane story. So we we're supposed to get here at 7.45. At night. At night. Yeah, yeah. But we never, we got here until night. Oh, because we got delayed? Yeah, we got delayed in the plane. Well, remember how, I just thought it was so interesting how we went from, we, we got on the plane in Zurich at what, like 11 o'clock a.m. Mm-hmm. And we got back to Phoenix at 9 p.m. I know. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like we got we got like halfway across the world <laughs> in like one day less than I mean because the time changes. Yeah. But like it's ridiculous. It's so cool. And also the airport what I was gonna say before, imagine trying to set up transportation from our hotel to the airport. That would have been a nightmare. So yeah, I just love how you have just you have to search it up. I don't even know how you would do it. Um you probably have Uber? to Uber? Yeah, but imagine how expensive yeah, that Uber um, would be a van, uh, a taxi cab, which ex- like you would have to look it up on the phone. Yeah, but it's just nice to like, yeah. we just jump in, and we ain't gotta worry about it. Mm-hmm. We're going. We know where we're going. <laughs> you know, we're with the and and it was a nice, mm, it was nice. Ride. It was a nice ride, and yeah. I'm grateful for you for that because you just get in, you go, do your stuff, and then you get home. You get back to the airport. Yeah. Like, I, and I tipped the guy, because I wanted to be nice, oh, yeah. remember? Yeah, because yeah, I was like, hey, man, you're awesome. Um, yeah, we had, a good co- we had a great conversation in that car, it was fun. Had a couple people with us, and it was a nice way to wind down the trip. Mm-hmm. So. Very, and as my first time doing this, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, what would you, okay, what would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10? i us say a 10 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to... Say a nine. A nine? Yeah. Because... Why? I don't know. Well... <laughs> well, the other thing is, I wish we would have had, like, one more day in some places. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the only thing different. Um, yeah. But besides that, so nine out of ten for me. Nine out of ten. The, the other trip was nine out of ten, too. <laughs> yeah. so Greece was nine out of ten, this was nine out of ten, and I'm definitely doing another one. Mm. And I just, like, you have, like, a whole squad of people you get to meet. Yeah. And like you're stuck with them for two weeks, so. <laughs> or a week. Yeah. Or a week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. For so that's time. that's that's the end of the, uh, like that's the whole trip. That was the review of the whole trip. Crazy five countries, all the all the times, all the stories, all the things. All the fun things. So we enjoyed it, and can't, can't wait to go to the next one. Mm-hmm. Closing. Thanks for watching. Thanks. For, uh, Thanks for watching, and until our next episode, we'll be back for something new. Yes. Thumbs up. Good job, guys. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs>